Okay, so if you notice, my hair is different, but I'm finishing my Curly Girl review, um, Curly Girl Method review. Sorry I left off on such a rant, but it ran out of time. I had to kind of stop it abruptly and whatever it is, what it is. So, um, but essentially, like I said, I was bugged at the whole relax your, I mean, excuse me, texturize your hair. Um, like I said, I don't have an issue with anybody who decides to do texturizers. I don't even have an issue with the relaxer folk, you know, do what you do for your hair. But I just, like I said, it just kind of bugs me, you know, that we have to, you know, that's our first option is to alter our hair after we've been this time to be naturally curly. But like I said, it is what it is. I really think, like I said, the book can be updated. Um new methods have been used or added so um but overall yes if you want to buy the book you definitely can just if you really want to get the recipes if you want to see the pictures and the classifications of the of how she classifies the curls i mean go ahead so anyway but also i just do want to say um before i do close everything up that coming soon i will be doing a blended beauty um uh, review um I would definitely love to do an O Yen review. I hope I'm saying that right. And then once I reorder my Kamaza hairline, because like I said, I really like it. You know, I'm still torn because I know I'm supposed to be using just Shea Moisture right now, but I still love Kamaza. I can't help it. I, I still love it so much. But anyway, um, yeah, so those reviews should be coming up I know I probably need to get on today with ordering Oyen since I've heard they're one of those companies that are very very infamous for you know you order today and not getting your products in a month I believe unless it's on naturally curly's curl mart and if the sample pack is on there I'll probably order through curl mart since they already have it and once again the shipping probably isn't going to be too bad um also I was probably going to do a coil out review um, I'm not call out review, a call out tutorial. I mean, but like I said, I'm not adding anything deep to the situation. I mean, just if you liked it and want to know what I used, I'll tell you right now, I did not use gel the first time around. And so for the first two days, my hair was just fine. It, you know what I'm saying? Like it didn't unravel or do anything crazy. Um, what I wasn't so crazy about was when I actually pulled the coils apart, I didn't, I wasn't totally in love with the look. Um, I end up doing my first faux hawk, a success, excuse me, successful faux hawk. Um, so, yeah, we'll see with that. And then I'm trying to think, was there anything else I um, wanted? To, oh, yes. Okay, I'm tired of my hair being this color. So I was thinking about um, doing, hold on, let me point that back. Okay. I was thinking about doing. Um, Giselle Couture uh, did a tutorial on using cinnamon to get some brown streaks kind of going in here, get brown stains on your hair. Would definitely love to do that. Um, the only reason why I haven't done henna or anything is because red, when I used to dye my hair when I was relaxed, red doesn't look good on my hair. Um, it's really weird because red clothing looks good on my skin but for whatever red hair doesn't do it for me so I have to go in the blonde brown spectrum and so the brown that the cinnamon had was actually pretty great so um, if I can bug my sister because my car broke down if I can bug my sister to maybe stop by the grocery store tonight I'll go ahead and get my cheapy conditioner or cheaper conditioner and give me another thing of cinnamon because I don't want my mom complaining that I I took all the cinnamon or whatever so yeah but anyway but yes if anybody notices I am just kind of doing a really a for real wash and go today um, I just got out the shower um, once again this is Shea Moisture my hair feels really soft actually let me stop lying I did um, use Talia Wajid's protective mist body fire there's a whole lot of controversy going on with this right now because the the she has either changed her ingredients or finally revealed all the ingredients that are on her products. I like to believe that she changed her ingredients, being that with her shampoo, with her something else, she actually states that she uses 
you know, sodium lauryl sulfate and petroleum. So I was just like, why with the protective mist body fire, would you just like decide not to withhold, you know what I'm saying? All of a sudden decide not to say that you put petroleum in there. So I'm on the, I'm on the side of that she changed her formula so it'll be she could produce more and it's cheaper cost effective so i won't be using the protective you know once this bottle is done that's it and i'm really sad because like i said it softens my hair like no other um and it's just because it's so like rich and oily i don't know but my hair loves it and like i said with petroleum i can't keep and that and that's the other reason why i don't think there's any petroleum in it um it's because with petroleum my hair doesn't ever truly get moisturized ever so it's just like it has like a gloss it kind of makes it seem like it's moisturized but it's really not and so that's another reason why because I'm just like when I use her protective mist body fire my hair isn't crunching out later or looking dry or feeling dry later it actually stays soft throughout the whole day so I'm kind of on the fence but I could be wrong you know maybe she'll come out and do a revealing interview that says yes petroleum was in there the whole time and so if that's the truth I'm just like well then maybe we need to re reevaluate petroleum and whatever because it worked fine on my hair but like I said the only reason why I think there isn't any is because when I use stuff like pink lotion Cantu's daily moisturizer those things have mineral oil and petroleum in them and as I kept using them my hair actually started feeling dry so and it could also be because there was a combination of maybe silicones in there too so the, something in there isn't making it compatible what all i'm trying to say is i don't i don't know if she really with her old addition if she really yeah used petroleum but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and go um I'll, hopefully i will post these videos soon being that the curly girl was made almost a week and a half two weeks ago and i just never posted it but yeah but that's my end statement um with the curly girl method i use it i pretty much shampoo once a month except with shea moisture because i've been kind of shampooing more frequently but i'm about to stop doing that again which is why i need to get a uh, bigger bottle of conditioner or whatever a rinse out conditioner um yeah, and that's, and that's it for me. So I will see you guys later or talk to you guys later. Have a great Sunday. Bye.